Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem combination sum. This is a very famous problem. So given an array of distinct integers candidates and target integer, return a list of all unique combinations of candidate where the chosen numbers sum to target. You may return the combinations in any order and the same number may be chosen from the candidates an unlimited number of times. So two combinations are unique if they if the frequency of at least one of the chosen number is different. So here is the example one we have candidate two three six seven which is like unique end numbers and the target seven. So we have to come up basically all the combinations of these number where we can repeat the number multiple times as well and that sums up to the seven. So how we will solve this problem. So first of all, let's say we have these four candidate and we choose in, let's say two, we will try for all. We choose in first two and let's we put into our generic like run time running temporary combination, which is temporary list, let's say. And after choosing two, we will reduce our target. So the remain we need to find five. Similarly, we can choose the three here and then we can start our list. This is from the three and the remaining like target will remain after subtracting three, which is four. Likewise, we can do for six and same for seven and so on. So let's continue from one or two branch. So then from two, we can again take the choose the two again. So here, let's say I can mark here where on the edges I am choosing. So this will become two comma two and the target will remain here after subtracting four from the seven, this will become three. And here also I can again select three. So this will become two comma three and the target will remain to two. So it should be five minus three, which is two. Now we can again take two here. So this will become two, two, two. And the target will left is one. Here we can do choose one another time number which is 2 2 and we can select 3 and once we select 3 so this will become ta uh, target will become 0 here so this is how we got this is our one of the combination this is satisfying the target sum which is 7 similarly if we select 7 itself this will become 0 so this is also our one or another combination which sums to the seven. So this way we can try and get if we further go here select another two. So the target will become our remaining target will become the negative number which is minus one. Hence we can't get this as a solution and further in this branch. So this will be block here. So this will be the our base case. One base case is the remaining of the target value will be negative or the second base case is if the remaining of target value is becomes zero. So this is our back base case. And this is how we will go through and try all the possible combination. And also we will make sure we need to use the repeated. So if you got the idea, pause the video and try it out, code it out yourself first. So for code, let's quickly jump here for the coding part. So for the coding part, as we have to return list of list of all the list of our combinations, so first we will define this as a result of new array list. Now we will call a recursive method, let's say void method backtrack and pass the candidates here, this candidates array. And also we need the one start index point where like we will start from the first element of our candidate like so which is a zero index. And also we will pass the target so this target will be as it is and also we need a temporary list we are building on the recursively on the go so that we will let's say pass it as a new array list and also we will pass the result and in the end we will just return our result which will be the answer so let's implement the backtrack method here so private void backtrack this will get the integer nums. Let's say shorthand is with cant and uh, let's call the start index this and the int target 
as it is and then we will get a list of integer let it call list itself and the result list of list of integer which is our result so once we got this so as we already know two base cases the first uh, base case is if target is less than zero then we will just return it's here and if we met like if our target become zero then we will add this current rest into our result so that's it otherwise we will try the combination from starting from the start index start and uh, i less than the candidate length and i plus plus try for all first now we will add the current candidate element which is into our list list dot add candidate of i and then again call the backtrack method so here we will pass the candidate and the start again as the i as we can choose the current number as as multiple times so we will just pass the i and also now we need to subtract the target minus kind of i the select as we selected candidate i we will subtract this from the i and then we'll pass the list and the result as it is once it done this will try all the cases after if we reach the case where we can't go we will like after putting the number is not giving us a result we will backtrack from there so for backtracking we will remove the last element list dot size minus one from our current list so this is the case if i added here another two this will not result us in a solution so we will remove this two and come back to this step we will backtrack here and similarly now we can't go any further we will backtrack here and this we will try this case so this is how we will go through so this call of our code will be start from like two we will have two three six seven so as and the target is seven so first we will start from two we will keep adding two 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 once we added this two this will be negative then this is the stage where we have to backtrack we will then we will try with three then we will again backtrack as then we will try with six we will again backtrack we will try with seven again backtrack and so on then after that we will again one more backtrack so here we will try with three and then we will get our first solution then we will try with six then we can't get solution we will backtrack it so like this we will try all the cases here so the time complexity of the solution will become the exponential so let's compile the code first and then see whether it is passing or not so here so we are getting a extra combination is because as we are adding this so we are adding always this list in our solution so that list is getting appended appended and all so we need to basically instead this is my mistake we need to remove instead of adding again this in the backtrack step so let's try it out so we are getting now the empty list as it is because this list as a reference we are getting initially so we need to copy it instead of new array list of this guy so let's compile it so we are getting the expected answer so if we submit this let's see whether it is accepted or not so it is accepted so if you see the time complexity of this solution as we are trying all the possible cases this will become so in the worst case we will have let's say n number here in our candidate array and the target let's say all the number in our array is we can choose at max target times so this will become n to the power target so this is the worst case time complexity of our solution so if you like my solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching